Hi guys, welcome to another video. Hope you're all keeping well. Now this is going to be another uh, Blu-ray Blu and DVD uh, pickups video because I want to show you some titles what I've got uh, over the last uh, couple of weeks. Uh, some I've sent for by post and some I've picked up from the shops. Uh, I don't want to pick them up because I've got too many here to show. There's quite a few actually, mostly Blu-rays. So, okay then. Uh, so as per usual, we're going to start with the DVDs. Right. And the first DVD I'd like to show you all, guys, is an eight, it's a six-film compilation DVD. Uh, it's uh, I've never seen any of these movies at all. Uh, one of them's got uh, David Carradine in, the guy who played the um, Kung Fu in the TV series. And that's a DVD called Gothic Queens. Just look at that eye-catching cover, guys, yeah? Very pretty lady there on the front, yeah? And there's the back, guys. I'll just read you the movies, what's on this. So this one, you've got Queen of Goth. Bloody Mary, The Axe is Back, and this too, you've got The Last Set, Vampire Baby, and Bloodshot Stego, guys. Uh, great assortment of films there. That is um, Gothic Queens. The next one I'd like to show you, oh, the less said about this one, the better. It's not really a horror movie, it's more of a fantasy one. I spotted it in Adstead the other day, uh, and uh, Sam Neill's in it. Uh, you know, the guy that was in uh, Dead Calm and, and uh, The Omen, uh, The uh, Final Conflict. Uh, yeah, it's more of a fantasy movie. Oh, I've switched it off, guys. I just got so bored with it. That's a movie called The Portable Door. Awful movie. Terrible. Yeah. Where's the dustbin? Yeah, guys. So uh, the less said about this, the better. Next up is it. Now, this is a very rare one. This one, actually. Um, I've never seen it. never even seen any trailers of it. It's um, an American paranormal movie based on a chilling true story of the Thornton Heath Poltergeist. Yeah, and that's a movie called The Ashcroft Entity. Just look at that cover, guys. That instantly caught me eye the minute I saw it on um, one of the websites, yeah. So I'm looking forward to checking this one out, yeah. Yeah, The Ashcroft, The Ashcroft Entity. Next up is, uh, now this is another take on it. You know, a lot of these uh, horror movie producers have been doing like... Um, uh, horror variations on kiddies fairy tales that uh, you know give them a real horror slant um, I saw this one uh, I thought I'd pick it up to see what it was like I saw the trailer the trailer wasn't bad um, Mary had a little lamb its fleece was red as blood so there you go guys Mary had a little lamb so be interested to see uh, what they do with this one the take on the old uh, Mary, Mary had a little lamb nursery rhyme Next up is, oh, another dreadful movie, guys. Uh, I've done a review of this. Um, yeah, another one. The less said about it, the better. Uh, another example of the cover uh, not matching the quality of the general film itself. You know, the storyline. That's a movie called The Unseen. Awful. Dreadful movie. <coughs> Next up is another one. Um, I think I saw this, another DVD. Another, I think I saw this many years ago, but I don't remember too much about it. I'm sure I had it on DVD when I got me recorded in 1986. That's a movie called The Thirsty Dead. So I'm looking forward to this one. It's about a cult to kidnap it, could kidnap beautiful girls for their, you know, sacrificial rituals, yeah. So, so I'm looking forward to watching that one. That is The Thirsty Dead. Next up is it. Now, um, I'm, at, I'm starting to add to my Bigfoot collection, you know, getting all the year Bigfoot and Yeti Sasquatch movies, as many as I can, the good ones, like hopefully they will be good. This is one I've, I've took a chance on. Uh, it's called Bigfoot Wars. There you go, Bigfoot Wars. So hopefully it'll be a good, it'll be a good uh, Bigfoot movie, Bigfoot Wars. And we've got another uh, Bigfoot related. Uh, well, this is actually a triple feature. Um, ours the Bigfoot action three movies, one low price. That is the Boggy Creek Legacy Collection, guys. There you go, three movies. So we're looking forward to uh, watching this. The movies are Bigfoot, the Mysterious Monster, Sasquatch, and the Snow Beast. So there you go, guys. That is the Boggy Creek collection. Next up is it? Oh, I watched this the other night. I was open. I was open to get so much from this. Oh, it was just a major ball fest, guys. Um, <coughs> very, very overrated movie. It stars the girl that was in that uh, uh, mommy. Those two mommy films I've done a review about. Um, Patty McCormack. It's about an evil child, the bad seed from the nineteen fifties. Oh, talk, talk, talk. Hardly anything happened in it and that, you know, very, very disappointing, yeah. So, um, no it, no exorcist here, no omen here in regards to evil children. She's very, very, they, 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 treat, they treated that character very, very lightly, you know. She wasn't scary at all. So, there you go, guys. Very, the very disappointing, the bad seed. 
And finally, we've got a, a box set, a horror TV series box set here. I did have this a couple of years ago, but I wanted to get this set because I just fell in love with it when I saw it. And that, you know, uh, that is Tales from the Dark Side, the complete series. Granted, it's not as good as it's not as good as Tales from the Crypt, but I thought, as I said, I saw it, you know, advertising Amazon. I fell in love with it and that, you know, so I thought to myself, I'll well, we'll get it again and that. And this time, uh, there, there are some good ones in it, but there, there's not as many good ones in it as the are in Tales from the Crypt. But it's nice to have in the collection, you know, iconic series from the 1980s. Oh, and I love that. I love that opening. I love that opening theme music. Very, very creepy. And the, and the fella's voice and that, you know. Oh, yeah. I think that's one of the best openings to any horror, horror uh, TV series I've ever seen, yeah. So there you go. That's the complete collection of Tales from the Dark Side. Okay, guys, we're moving on to the Blu-rays now. I've got quite a few here, so I won't talk too much about them because I want to get through them all and that, you know, so just, um, I'll tell you, like, um, I'll be as brief as I can, really, and that, you know. Um, so, oh, the first one. I was so elated. It's just arrived now in the post. I went and saw that, but I thought, yes, at last, it's come out on Blu-ray. Uh, that is the TV miniseries of The Shining. Uh, right off the hot off the presses from film treasures guys yeah the one with Rebecca De Mornay in I like this one uh, as much as I like the Jack Nicholson one yeah so it's great to finally own us on Blu-ray I thought we'd never see a Blu-ray Blu-ray release of this so there you go guys that is the Blu-ray of the 1997 TV movie um, Stephen King's The Shining really made up to get this I really am Next up is it, and I bought this in HMV last Saturday. I was expecting great things from it. Oh, but it was terrible. It was awful, awful movie, and that's a movie called Messiah of Evil. It was terrible. It had it was too many surreal surreal scenes in it, you know, hallucinatory images and that. Not not a proper airline or storyline. And in the end, guys, I find myself dropping off to the land of nod. Yeah. So there you go, guys. That's the awful, awful Messiah of Evil. Where's that rubbish bin again? Bullseye. You can't be a bit of bully. Next up is, now, I've got three movies here, guys, I'd like to show you in succession. I, was, I took a day out to Manchester yesterday, and I went to HMV, and I pick, I'm getting very much into my J-horror, you know, my Japanese horror, and I saw these all on the Arrow Lave, and I thought I'd pick them up. So, um, that's Dark Water. Dark Water. Uh, One Miss Call Trilogy. And Pulse. So, there you go, guys. I'm just going to take a chance with these and see if I like them and that. Yeah. Three uh, Japanese treble there. Uh, Next up, this is more of a thriller, I think, than a horror, but it's a lovely addition, so I thought I'd show you that anyway. That's Ursula Andress as the nurse. There you go, guys. <laughs> but rather eye catching cover there, guys, yeah? So there you go. That is the Shameless on the Shameless label. There you go. So, so yeah, so that is Ursula Andress in the nurse. Next up, uh, this has just come today as well. I'm actually a, I'm collecting all the George A. Romero zombie movies, you know, filling the gaps in the collection. This is the remake of Dawn of the Dead. I'm, I'm glad it's got the slipcover, albeit it's a little bit better than that. But it's great to have the slipcover. So there you go, that's Dawn of the Dead, the uh, remake. So I'm looking forward to it. I've only seen it once years ago, so I'm looking forward to uh, revisiting this one. And uh, next up is one I've reviewed actually on my channel. It's a two-movie Blu-ray. I'm not going to say too much about it because I, I did talk about it in depth in my review. That's a two-mommy movies. She is one evil bitch. She really is. Patsy McCormick. Totally, totally uh, different to the, the little girl she played in the bad scene. Really much more evil, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically about like anything, anybody does anything on her. Uh, rubs her doors up the wrong way. She, she exacts a horrible revenge by murdering them. You know, murdering teachers and that. You know, bullies and that. Yeah, the first one's good. The second was a bit meh. There you go, guys. The two mommy movies. We've got another Bigfoot movie here. Don't know anything about it. I, I ordered this from Amazon Jamie. And that, that's a movie called Boggy Creek. There you go, guys. Boggy Creek. So, hopefully, this will be a good uh, Bigfoot movie. Next up, um, I've got, again, I've already done a, a review, an unboxing of this, so I won't say too much about it. It's a box set from Severin Films. That is a Dungeon of Andy Milligan. Lovely, sturdy box, guys, yeah. So, 14 horror movies by the uh, exploitation director, Andy Milligan. So, looking forward to it getting stuck into these. Great box set. Next up, we've got, yes, another Bigfoot movie, another one I haven't seen. This stars Alice Cooper. I was a big fan of Alice Cooper in the 70s, especially when he said he sang I Want to Be Elected and School's Out and all that, you know. So uh, School's Out is my favourite one. Yeah, so there you go, guys. Bigfoot starring uh, the great Alice Cooper. There you go. There he is, Alice. Our Alice, still going strong. Yeah, very, very nice man as well, by all accounts. Totally different to the... Uh, the horrific character he plays and his conscious and that, yeah. So there you go, guys. That is big fuss. I love that cover, guys, yeah. Another one, um, 
I've, I have seen this before and I liked it and that, you know, but um, I did I did sell it, like, because I think I ran short, short a few bob a couple of years ago, but I thought I'd get it again. It's a good one on that. You know, it's not as good as the Hammer movies, and that is um, Joseph Cotton's in it. He plays Dr. Frankenstein. That's a movie called Lady Frankenstein. I love the monster in this. He's got this big bulbous set. Oh, <laughs> No, bulbous does have many, many other meanings. And bulbous, in this particular case, has got a big whopping giant's head. The bulbous said it, the bulbous said it, Frankenstein monster. If ever there was one, guys, yeah. So there you go. There's the beautiful lady, Frankenstein, gorgeous lady, yeah. Um, fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to watching this one, yeah. Got some great special features there, guys, yeah. So that is Lady Frankenstein. Next up is one I picked up the other day. <laughs> starring one of my favourite actors, very underrated actor, Michael Goff. It, and it stars the guy that was in the Confessions movies, you know, The Confessions of a Window Cleaner. That is a movie from the 70s called Horror Hospital. There's Michael Goff, gay. Michael Goff, guys in the role of the Demented Scientist and that. Saw it many, many years ago. I uh, don't remember too much about it, so I thought I'd add it to my collection. That is a Horror Hospital. Next up is another one. I haven't seen this one, actually. It's from the 1950s. And as you know, I love my creature feature movies. So I saw the trailer of this. I thought to myself, I'll pick that up. The Black Scorpion, guys. There you go. The Black Scorpion. So I'm looking forward to watching this one. And that's my creature feature collection, if it's good. Next up is... Oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful edition by Severin Films. Oh, really made up with this lovely slipcover. Very, very reminiscent of the old Universal Moot Monster... Monster Meets Up movies. That is Dracula, Prisoner of Frankenstein. Just look at that cover, guys. I catch and cover if ever there was, yeah. And there you go, guys. There's the back. Very reminiscent of that, as I say. Universal Monsters. It reminds me of the John Carradine Dracula with the top ass. And it's got the, um... Reverse, well, different artwork, guys, inside, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, special features. Some special features there, guys, for you. To want to freeze your frames and have a look at them. So, I'm looking forward to checking this one. Dracula... Prison of Frankenstein, never seen it, so uh, hopefully I won't be disappointed. Beautiful edition by Severin, they're really on the money with these releases. Next up is now, this is a uh, this is the video nasty. It, it did uh, carve something of a rather notorious reputation for itself when it was first released, and that especially in the 1980s when all the video the video censorship was holding sway. Uh, I've never, believe it or not, I've never once had this to be collection, not even on DVD, and it's a, it, is, it is a notorious. Horror movie, you know, that is the Driller Killer. There you go, guys. Iconic poster there. And you've got all those special features. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, uh, years ago since I saw it on VHS, you know, uh, when it became available, that is. So that is Driller Killer. Next up is, oh, I, this, I paid it. $29.99 for this, and I, I, I wasted, wasted me money. The awful, awful nightmares and a damaged brain. What a load of bloody pile of poo this was. Oh, it was terrible, guys. I hated it. Another one of those weird, hallucinatory kind of movies, you know, that storyline's very, very weak and that, and it, yeah, so um, I put it on eBay. Yeah, so the awful, awful nightmares in a damaged brain. This is another Dario Argento one. Um, it's not one of my favourite Dario Argento movies. I watched it a couple of years ago, and um, yeah, I, was, I wasn't crazy about it, but I thought I'd give it another go, and seeing as it's in this lovely edition, that is Dario Argento's The Cat and Nine Tales. Lovely, sturdy box, guys, yeah. And packed and packed with special features. It's not much, it's not so much of a, not so much a, a gialli or a horror. It's more of a thriller. But I thought I'd give it another go and that. You know, Carl Walden's in it and it, James Franciscus and that. So um, and I like the um, I like the reversible artwork as well, guys. Yeah. So that's the Cat of Nine Tales, and you get a nice booklet with it as well. I'll just show you the booklet, guys. There's the booklet. So I thought I'd give it another go because uh, I'm collecting all of Dario Argento's anyway. So there you go, guys. That is the Cat of Nine Tales. Now, um, we've got, again, got another treble here in a series. I think there's about six of them now. Um, when I first ordered this one, I was very, very disappointed. I didn't get that beautiful deluxe box set uh, that I, you know, I thought I would have got them in. I only, I only got the single Blu-ray with the three movies on. But apparently, once those special editions are sold out, you're, you're going to release them now in this format. And I looked on the positive side reel and thought to myself, well, it's safe on shelf space. So that's the Forgotten Jelly Volume 2. Forgotten Gialli Volume 1 and Forgotten Gialli Volume 3. So there you go, guys. Yeah, so I'm going to check these out. Yeah, I say saving on, on shelf space anyway and that, you know. And if I like them, um, I might get the other volumes, yeah. So there you go, guys. That's the Forgotten Gialli, yeah. And that, that that's it about wraps it up. 
yeah, I hope you enjoyed the uh, pickups and that. Have you got any of these movies, guys? Let me know in the comments down below. Yeah, let me know any particular favourites among among that say uh, haul. Yeah, uh, oh yeah, quite a few there to get through and that. Yeah, uh, I've ordered a couple more as well. They'll be in my next. Uh, they'll be in my next pickups video. But uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into them. I might watch Horror Hospital tonight. Actually, the one with Michael Goff and uh, that one with all the. Um, the, the sixth movie, The Goth Collection. We're really looking forward to uh, watching that, yeah. Okay, then, guys. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the pickups and that. And, uh, yeah, have a nice weekend. Take care of yourselves. And, uh, or you should like the video, you know, please feel free to share, uh, subscribe, uh, comment. And uh, all going well, I will be back again very, very soon with um, another video. Take care, guys. Bye for now.